Welcome. We're so happy to see you. We hope that you've been having some nice time outside in the sun. It's still a little cold, but um, welcome to our worship. We are so happy to see you. Yes, we really are. And today's the first day of spring when we're recording this. So it's really nice to see all the flowers starting to come up and the warm weather. So welcome. Well, how about we start with a story? Great. Well, let's see. We have a story about someone named Zacchaeus. And it talks about God changes hearts. So Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. He stood on tippy toes and jumped up and down. He tried to squeeze through to the front, but no one would let him. Why doesn't anybody like me? He wondered. But he knew the reason. Zacchaeus was a tax collector who had become rich by cheating the townspeople. Then Zacchaeus spied a tree. Aha, he thought to himself. I will climb that tree and have the best view of all. Then Jesus stopped under that very tree and looked up at him. Zacchaeus, Jesus called out, climb down for I am coming to your house today. Zacchaeus could not believe his ears. He jumped down and ran home to get ready. That man is a liar and a cheat, a townsperson said. Why is Jesus going to his house? Zacchaeus realized they were right and he was ashamed. When Jesus entered his house, he said, Lord, I will give half of everything I own to the poor and everyone I have cheated, I will pay back four times the amount I stole. Jesus smiled and said, Dear Zacchaeus, today you have become a new man. Now you can truly stand tall. Dear God, help me to be honest and fair. What a wonderful story. Thank you, Danielle, for that story. And I would like to share with you a song. I'm going to sing it through once. If you know it, sing along. If you don't, you can learn it. It's all about Zacchaeus, and you can sing with me a second time. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior came that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. So sing along with me and you can do the actions too. Zacchaeus was a wee little man and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior came that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Thank you so much for singing with us. That was a great song. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. And now it's time for prayer. So, does everyone have their prayer rope? Do you have your prayer rope handy, Pastor Beth? I do. Mine has flower. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Well, I remember you sharing with us that we can have a prayer rope made out of anything. So, thank you for that idea. And maybe next time I will have a different prayer rope than the one I have. I wanted to share with you, I love the prayer rope. It reminds me that we are connected even though we're not in the same physical space. 
And when we say our prayers together, everyone around or who is holding the prayer rope or watching is saying the prayers with us. So at this time, is there anything you'd like to pray for? Hmm. I'd like to thank God for the sun and the spring. I have some sun coming in my window. Wonderful. And together we say, thank you. Thank you, God. And I'd like to also thank God for all the beautiful flowers that are starting to bud and spring up like these tulips here. And so I like to thank God for springtime and all the wonderful new growth that's going to take place. And so together we say, thank you, God. Wonderful. Well, I give God thanks for you all. And I'm looking forward to us coming together soon. But I love that we can still share this time with prayer. So everybody stay healthy, wash your hands. So we remember that Jesus's friends asked Jesus how they should talk with God. How do we pray? And he taught them this prayer, the Lord's Prayer, and it's a prayer that generations of Christians have shared. So let's pray it together with our hand motions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for praying along with me. Wonderful, wonderful. And now I think we should sing a song that we would say when we were together and it is God has given me all I need. And Pastor Beth, I wanted to share with you and those who are watching, I've been thinking about this song and I realized that we have so much to give back. And while we were in church, we would give our money back. But I thought we could give other things back. Like we could give a smile. We could give a few kind words to someone, maybe volunteer around the house or in the yard. There are so many ways for us to give back. So now when I think about this song, I'm no longer thinking about money, but I'm also thinking about other ways to give back. So let us say together, God has given me all I need. 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 I must give back to God. God has given me all I need. God has given me all I need. God has given me all I need. I must give back to God. Wow. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Well, this concludes our service. And every time we end our service, we say, go in peace to love the Lord. Thanks be to God and we will. Have a good one. Have a great week. Bye.